A new model of dark matter proposes a fresh possibility for the particles that make up this enigmatic kind of matter, which could mean that it can be found in future studies. Because it doesn't appear to interact with light as it does the regular daily stuff that make up the stars, planets, and ourselves, dark matter, which accounts for 85% of the universe's matter, has frustratingly eluded detection. Currently, the only way dark matter can be detected is through its gravitational interaction, which prevents galaxies from actually tearing apart as they spin. But what is dark matter? Dark matter is a hypothetical form of matter that is thought to make up about 85% of the total matter in the universe. It does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible to telescopes, but its presence can be inferred through its gravitational effects on visible matter. Dark matter is thought to be made of particles that interact very weakly, if at all, with light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation. Scientists are still trying to determine the exact nature of dark matter and how it fits into our understanding of the universe, but several theories and models have been proposed including WIMPs, or weakly interacting massive particles, and sterile neutrinos. Despite its name, dark matter does not absorb light, but is named as such because it does not emit or reflect light, making it undetectable by telescopes. Going back to the new model, it proposes that high-energy interactive particulate relics, or hypers, could make up dark matter. According to this new theory, the strength of the interactions between dark matter and regular baryonic matter would have suddenly surged once dark matter formed in the early universe. In addition to explaining why dark matter is so abundant, this hypermodel would have the effect of making dark matter visible in the universe's current epoch. Together with researchers Robert McGee and Aaron Pierce from the University of Michigan, Jilly Elor, a postdoctoral researcher in the Prisma Plus Cluster of Excellence, developed the new model. So-called weakly interacting massive particles or WIMPs are one of the current top suspects in the search for dark matter possibilities. Researchers have begun suggesting lighter particles called hypers as potential candidates for dark matter due to the failure of searches for these and other big particles. Phase transitions, or the transformation from one physical condition to another, such as the transition from a solid to a liquid, are another concept that is frequently overlooked in contemporary studies of dark matter. The hypermodel, on the other hand, relies on a phase change, calling for a change in the early cosmos that modifies the interactions between dark matter and ordinary matter. The hypermodel's developers believe that this shift of state may indicate that dark matter is genuinely measurable in the cosmos as it exists right now. We discovered that if a unique novel phase transition had taken place in the early universe, concrete models of this dark matter may be realized, according to McGee. Dark Matter – The Best of Both Worlds Potential dark matter theories are currently confronted with a problem that, if they were to imply that dark matter interacts strongly with baryonic matter, the amount of dark matter created in the early universe would be insufficient to explain our observations of the cosmos. On the other hand, models that generate the right quantity of dark matter predict interactions with baryonic matter that are too weak to be discovered empirically at this time. The hypermodel predicts a single sudden change in the interaction between dark matter and baryonic matter due to its phase transition. The correct amount of dark matter can be produced, as well as a significant enough interaction with ordinary matter to be detected, giving rise to what McGee dubbed the best of both worlds. In practical physics, interactions must be mediated by a particular messenger particle, typically a force carrying boson like a photon which is a messenger particle of the electromagnetic force. A mediator would also be necessary for interactions between dark matter and regular matter. The mediator particle's mass would determine the interaction's strength, with a higher mass indicating a weaker connection. In order to allow for the proper quantity of dark matter to emerge in this scenario, the mediator must be both heavy enough and light enough to allow for an observable interaction with a matter. 
The mediator particle's mass abruptly decreases as the aforementioned phase shift in the hypermodel, which takes place after the synthesis of dark matter. This permits the creation of the inferred amount and, at the same time, permits a heightened interaction with ordinary matter that results in scattering events that would enable direct detection of dark matter. Although the hypermodel may help with some of the difficulties in building a dark matter model, its development was extremely difficult. McGee noted that the hypermodel may be the only one available to physicists to explain this discovery should a future dark matter detection experiment detect what looks to be quite light dark matter bouncing off nuclei often. What do you think of this discovery? Will we ever make sense of dark matter anytime soon? Comment your thoughts below! Thank you so much for watching the video! Don't miss out on our latest uploads! If you wish to stay up to date with the latest space updates and discoveries, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and turn on all notifications to see more of our latest videos in the future.